The Vokey Iceberg Explained. Yes, even Vokey has an iceberg now, but that's only because I made it myself. So a few things before we start diving into the uh, waters, the waters that are holding the iceberg. I just want to warn you now, my voice is extremely obnoxious and annoying. Secondly, I, I don't know how to word things uh, very good. Thirdly, I tried. Please forgive me. But yes, this is my first and probably last iceberg chart. What's it about? Well, it's about a website called Vokey. And for all you new people out there, um, if you don't know what an iceberg chart is, well, it's basically a picture of an iceberg with a bunch of text on it, and uh, it holds knowledge of a certain thing, like, for example, the Super Mario iceberg, or the Throathead iceberg, or something. And um, the deeper you go beneath the iceberg, the more obscure the knowledge is, I don't know how to explain things good, but I tried. So I made this iceberg on my own, and, uh, yeah. But you might be wondering, what is Vokey? Well, Vokey is just a fun tool you can use to make weird-looking characters say weird things. It's mostly used by schools and students in schools for history projects and whatnot, but I just like to use it to make the worst videos YouTube has on its site. That's right. I use it to pollute YouTube with garbage, but it's garbage I like to make, so, uh, too bad. Yes, I know this intro is, um, longer than you or I wanted it to be, but I just had a few things to say, alright? Here's the last thing I'm gonna say. Uh, quick side note, in my opinion, the iceberg chart thing really shouldn't be classified as a trend. Iceberg charts can be fascinating, like, anytime so why should it just be a trend it's also very informational and you know why should information have to be a trend so i'm not late to any uh quote-unquote party all right let's do this warning jokingly self-deprecating and uh, <clears throat> humor ahead also some misspellings that i might have uh put because and uh, i can't fix because i made the iceberg in microsoft paint and in that program, it doesn't let you edit text, so, uh, there's that. All right, let's get started! You've been warned! Layer 1. Vokey exists. It sure does, and I love it. It's a really fun tool. Layer 2. Vokey's sister site. Vokey kind of has a sister site, well, if you can call it that. It's called SitePal, and if I recall correctly, it's more popular than Vokey, but... Don't quote me on that. Soft voice voices. On July 15th, 2020, uh, don't ask me how I remembered that, the soft voice text-to-speech voices were added to Vokey under the brand new at the time offbeat voices section. Soft voice is a type of cheese, uh, I mean a uh, bundle of text-to-speech voices. The only reason I know that they're called the soft voice voices is because of one Gary12GG. So kudos to him and shoutouts to him. Not only for providing that very specific info, but also for being a member of my channel. Thank you, Gary, and everyone else who watches my channel for some reason. Lots of tutorials. In the past, when I've randomly searched the word Vokey on YouTube, there's a gargantuan amount of tutorials. And to my understanding, Vokey is kind of a fairly obscure website. So, it's cool. September 11th, 2018 update. On September 11th, 2018... Vokey got an absolutely gargantuan, ginormous update. Well, why was it so huge? Well, it completely replaced the Adobe Flash layout they had for, like, ten years or so. And, uh, well, this was the first time in history anyone can make a widescreen wide Vokey, Vokey, at least without some kind of editing tool. The weirdest part, though, is kind of personal to me. Why? Well, it updated only two mere days after I started the Throathead YouTube channel. Coincidence? I think maybe! Vokey iOS app. Yes, Vokey has an iOS app. I think the app was actually, like, deleted or just kind of disappeared off the face of the earth at one point. But, uh, I just looked it up as of this entry, iceberg entries writing, and as of July 21st, 2021, it's up. Anyway, yeah, as an iOS app. 
The eyes follow your cursor like a creep. Here's a thing that I like when uh, websites do. Not just Vokey, but any website. On Vokey, the eyes on a character follow your cursor. I absolutely love it. Vokey Presenter. This is a tool on the Vokey website you can use to make presentations. It's kind of a weird hybrid between PowerPoint or Google Slides and uh, Vokey. Like Vokey and the Google Slides had a baby or something. I don't know. And for some reason, there's a three-slide limit with the free version. That's not fair! Vokey's namesake. This one's actually pretty interesting. If you go to the bottom of the site and click on About, you'll see why the site is called Vokey. What's with the name? Vokey is a combination of the words Vox and Loki. Vox is the Latin term for voice. Loki is a Norse god from Norse mythology. Loki is a trickster who has the ability to change his shape. It's a fitting name since Vokey gives students and teachers the ability to change the character's appearance and add a voice. So that's pretty cool. Layer 3 Vokey's YouTube channel. Vokey has a YouTube channel. Pretty self-explanatory. Although it only has a few videos. It's called Official Vokey, all one word, no capital letters. And you know what? Who could forget the wise words of MC in the channel's discussion tab? Test. Mm, oh, it's just... Mwah, simply beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful words, MC. Mr. or Mrs. MC. Oh, also, Vokey hasn't uploaded a video there in years. Weird occasional echo glitch. Sometimes, even without applying any of the built-in voice effects they have, the voices will echo for some reason that I just don't know. In fact, I have video proof. Play it! Kids' voices. In addition to the offbeat voices section from earlier, the kids' voices section was added. They're literally just the adult voices, but like... Pitched up. Who put helium in the water supply? I think they're, like, kinda weird. Which makes sense, because the company who made Vokey is called Oddcast. Odd is a synonym for weird. But that's a whole other rusty can of worms. Anyway, yeah. I don't know what it is, but I just avoid using the kids' voices. It's, uh... I don't know. It's not like I hate kids or anything. It's just... I, I honestly don't know. Just something... It's just so weird and off about the kids' voices. I don't know. 631-517-5736. This is my phone number. Just kidding! <laughs> okay, but seriously, uh, this is a phone number you can call. When you call it, just put the code shown on the Vokey website into the dial pad. Then you can record what you want your Vokey to say. Basically, in case you have no microphone for your computer somehow, you can call the number, put in the code, and, you know, say something. And then your Vokey character will say it. It's honestly pretty ingenious, if you ask me. Silence character changes. Sometimes Oddcast changes a character's design. Like, sometimes a character square, you know, that you can click on to select the character. It will have a different looking character than the actual avatar that would show up. Oh, I, I gotta get my tongue ready for this one. Vokey Color and Character Accessory Randomizer. Whew! Alright, so before the September 11th, 2018 update, rather than pick a random character from the character catalog and do nothing like it does nowadays, the randomized dice not only used to pick a character, it would also randomly customize the character's accessories and colors, too. This picture is the only evidence I have. Unfortunately, though, it doesn't do that anymore, but you can still very much customize the Vokey character. Or avatar, you know. Vokey blog. So, uh, Vokey apparently has a blog. That's actually pretty cool. However, it hasn't been updated since, uh, November 2019. It's blog.vokey.com. It's kind of funny how the WordPress favicon is still up there in the tab. If you don't know what a favicon is, uh, it's basically the little icon that shows up Next to the name of the tab you're in. Layer 4. Where the backgrounds came from. It's not really clear where a lot of the backgrounds on Vokey come from. Well, at least, not to me. However, I'm just gonna guess that they did all of the above. Either A, they got a photographer. D photographer? Either A, they got a photographer. 
and or B, they got images online, and or C, they got an illustrator. No, I mean for like the illustrated backgrounds, not all, the, not the real life ones. Vokies featured on homepage. For a brief period of time, the homepage of the website had random Vokies featured on, well, the homepage. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Anyway, it went something like this. Hit. This isn't around today, though, however. It's a weird footnote in Vokies history, no doubt. Jaiho, or Jiho, I'm sorry if I'm butchering that name. Uh, Jaiho's IP in the pool shirt. So, go to character, classic. Scroll down, mouse over each character until you see the name Jaiho pop up. Fun fact, that's called a screen tip. That little um, box of text that shows up when you hover over something with your mouse. It's called a screen tip. Anyway, Jaiho over here wears an IP in the pool shirt. Oh man, I want that shirt real bad! I would pay good money to get that shirt. I would pay really good money. Random to offbeat name change. For some reason, the random section under character had its name changed to offbeat a while back. Still makes sense, although I don't know why they changed it, but okay. Layer 5. The true meaning of please choose an audio. Now, unfortunately, I have to admit I forget how to do this, if it even still exists at all. But if you do the thing that I forgot what to do, you'll get an error message saying, please choose an audio. Like, it might seem simple at first, but there may be something hidden beneath it. Woo! But maybe we'll never know. Background, City Views, New York Street. Uh, okay, so this one might just be me being dumb. But, uh, if you click on Background, and then City Views, and then New York Street, you'll see a building with what appears to be smoke, or water vapor. This one's just bizarre to me. I again, I have no idea if I'm dumb or something. Or at least dumber than usual. It could be water vapor, but it looks... I, I don't know. I don't know the context of the image. I don't know when it was taken. I do hope, though, that if, heaven forbid, anything bad happened, that most of the people in there made it out on time. Johnny Corn and Pro4.jpg Once again, because me stupid and me caveman, I forget which part of the website this came from. But on that part, wherever it may be, this image... Pro4.jpg lies. So, what's so weird about this image? Well, look at the corn fella over here. Usually on Voki, he has a farmer hat. But here? Mmm, no dice. Could this have been an early design? Either before the character was put on Voki, or an early design that lasted just a little while on Voki? Or something? Uh, maybe. I think that's the most likely. Unless aliens! Digimon in... Very, very gigantic quotation marks. In the character section on Voki, there's a category for huge emphasis on quotation marks. Digimon. Those are not Digimon. You silly gooses. Or geese. Ding dang, English plurals. Oh well, I guess that's just the nature of language. Layer 6. Legacy Flash Layout. I know, I know, I know, it's been mentioned already in this poorly constructed iceberg, but this is an entry reserved just for the Legacy Flash layout. So, before the September 11th, 2018 update, Voki's layout was made for Adobe Flash Player. One Day Weird Corruptions. This one is just bizarre and personal. In school, me and my friend were on the computers during our free time after our schoolwork was done. This only happened on one day. One glorious day in like 2018 or 2019 or so. Anyway, yeah, we went to use Voki because, you know, we're both fans and we were in the mood. But for some reason, and this is kind of hard to explain, the uh, the characters were weird and corrupted and just randomly turned into different versions of themselves. It's really hard to explain. It's kind of like what happened in the Legacy layout with the random generation of accessories and colors and stuff. But that was a regular thing. This happened with the newer layout, and it only lasted for one day. One beautiful, glorious, delicious day! And uh, this poorly drawn picture I scrolled is the only memory I have of it. Hey, at least it's something. Accidental Twitter account deletion. In May 2020, Voki accidentally deleted their Twitter account. That is just horrifying to hear. 
As a person who likes to keep data, it's horrifying to hear. Anyway, they announced the accident on May 8th, 2020. But thankfully, they did make a new account. Although, for whatever reason, they haven't posted anything for over a year. Since June 25th, 2020, to be exact. Layer 7. Moving and resizing characters. So, in the Legacy Vokey layout, you know, the one made for Adobe Flash Player, you can move and resize the characters. Unfortunately, though, you can't do that anymore with the new layout. Oddcast App Admin YouTube Channel. An unknown admin from Oddcast, the company who made Vokey, made a YouTube channel back in the olden days of... September 1st, 2017. This channel is mostly obscure, only having 300 plus subscribers at the time of this writing. That's why it's on the iceberg. Also because Vokey. L-WWW. Sometimes instead of just WWW shown in the URL, LWWW, or L-WWW I should say, appears instead. I don't know why this happens, although it could have something to do with their servers, but it's spooky. Pre-launch logo. If you go on the Wayback Machine and type in Vokey.com and pick a page before May 2007 when Vokey was launched, you're greeted by this. No, no, that's too far back. I'm talking about this. No, not that far back. Nah, 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 nah. For real, I'm talking about this. There we go. It's real interesting to see the logo design before it was finalized. This was the pre-launch logo. Layer 8. Soon everyone will be talking. <laughs> this is kind of like the last entry, except it's referring to just the slogan. Soon everyone will be talking. Ooh, so ominous. Ooh. Little did the people who accidentally came across that website know they would be in for a treat. Well, not every single person in the world is going to like it. I just meant, you know, some people. Voki Consulting. Warning, this one is yelling. I'm assuming that VOKI, I'm yelling it because it's in all caps, used to be some kind of market consulting thing. Uh, thanks for giving me that forbidden information, Wayback Machine. You're welcome. In today's marketing environment, consumer information is the key to a successful advertising campaign. What traditional marketing methods like direct mailing or spam mailing can't achieve is the specific targeting of customers and the ability to generate statistics based on com uh, consumer responses. VOKI Voki Consulting vast array of comprehensive tools and solutions allows businesses to gain consumer information, analyze it, and selectively target their customers, making it highly effective and cost efficient. We believe that our services are invaluable to the success of your marketing strategy. We regret to say that this website does not operate anymore. This website name is for sale without any condition now. Font color equals red. Size equals four. If you are interested in this website name, you can contact us. Contact us. Email. Clicka at dreamwiz.com. Copyright 2002. Vokey Consulting. All rights reserved. Vokey of the day. Back in the early years of Vokey, in fact, when it was still in its alpha phase, and they used to put a Vokey of the day on the side of the website. However, unfortunately, these Vokies of the day seem to be lost to time due to how the Wayback Machine works. Vokey of the day. Be the next Vokey of the day. Amber. Zero. MySpace. Be careful, dear Vokey users. This could happen to you. See Vokey in action. Between the Rock. Black Heart Magazine. Cancel Winter. Molly Lenore. This is gonna be big. More Vokey. Click it at dreamwiz.com. Okay, okay, okay. I promise this will be the last Wayback Machine entry. Anyway, uh, click it at dreamwiz.com is a mysterious email address <laughs> that showed up before Oddcast even made Vokey a thing. Who is Clicka? Does the email address even still work? Why is there a watering can image? What is or was Dreamwiz? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. I I have no clue. Vokey the Movie. Vokey the Movie is a feature-length film about, you guessed it, SightPal. Wait, no, I mean Vokey, sorry. Here, I'll play a clip of the film. Let the Vokey movie begin. Ah, oh, it's a phony. Okay, so apparently Vokey the movie turned out to be a 2019 April Fool's, uh... 
joke made by none other than Brrr, me. No wonder it sucks. Voki is Illuminati. Oh look, me again. This time I discovered that Voki is Illuminati. Proof. Bing. July 22nd, 2021 glitch. This one happened literally as I was writing the script for this iceberg video, which is super duper interesting. So, I went on Voki to take a screenshot and this happened. Weirdly enough though, this didn't happen in a guest window. Misspellings. There are quite a number of misspellings on Voki. Like this one. Exclamation symbol. Well, that's the only one I could think of off the top of my head right now. I mean, heck, there may not even be as many misspellings as I think there are. The ninth and final layer. Throathead. Absolutely grotesque. Voki is linked to the universe. Alright, so for our last entry on the Voki iceberg trademark... Actually, don't trademark that, because that would be a waste of a perfectly good trademark symbol. Anyway, I discovered that Voki is linked to the universe thanks to a cool site called Komogo. You want proof? I got your proof right here. Whoa. Sorry if that was an anticlimactic iceberg ending, but, uh, look, this is my first and only time I've done an iceberg chart. Please forgive me. And if you don't, well, uh, I don't know. Well, that does it for the Voki iceberg. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm out of here. Blow me off, Johnny. Hot, the